In this video, we are going to learn how you can make the body cam effect like unrecorded games. So let's get begin. So firstly, we are going inside our third person character viewport and here dragging up our camera in our character mesh and deleting the camera boom, making our camera as a child. Now here we are going to attach it into our head. So searching for a head and attaching it. Now I will reset all the values to arrange it correctly now i am just dragging it 90 degree and rotating it 90 degree so that our third person character will look like it's in fps now compile save and now here in class default search for yaw and take it now compile and save it before that we will just go there and under walk speed i'm going to make it little bit downer to make our player move slow compile and save it and come back to our game and here you can see that now our camera is attached to our head and if i will walk then we can also find a kind of wobbling effect in our camera and i'm not going to change this wobbling effect i'm kind of loving it so i will keep it like this and now one more thing that i have to add is coming back to our blueprints and here what i'm going to do inside our character movement i am just going under yeah this character movement rotations and turning off this it will make our rotation more smoother and kind of camera will stitch to our head and where we move our head will move in that direction now we will create a material for our body cam effect so i will create a material name it whatever you want and get inside it now here under the material domain make it post process and come to your graphs now search for a screen position and connect it with component mask and connect a component mask with add now here hold one left click to get a vector and make its value around minus 0.5 and connect it with add now search for a radial gradient exponent and again hold one left click to get a vector connect it with a center position hold shift s to get a parameter and name it as area radius and connect it to the radius copy and paste it rename it as a area fall off connect it to density and put the value one in both of them now search for minus and add a switch parameters and name it invert now what we have to do let me cite this connect the exponential radiant with this false value and now here add a multiply and move this invert result to b and from this add a connect it with multiply a now again add a multiply and get a parameter and name it as a length distortion set its value to around 0.5 and connect that to b now here get a subtract and connect its a point with our component mask and now get a screen texture and make it past processing input and connect the color with emission color lastly with clicking emission color turn on the filters and there finally we are done with our this material now come back to your content browser and convert this to a instance so that we can play with the values of our material now double click and here turn on all this and you can play with the values in order to make it look kind of real camera and i am going with this values you can copy it if you want now in our map get a post process volume and drag it into our display and under details panel search for mat and here just get a reference asset and select our instance material that we recently created and now when you will press play then you will find that it's looking kind a real camera and our effect is applied successfully so that's enough for this video make sure to like and subscribe and i started a five minute unreal engine series so if you want to learn with me then you can subscribe me bye bye